Kodi is SourceGraph AI enabled editor assistant. Kodi is open sourced. Kodi is like ChatGPT in your code editor, but it knows about your code. Like other artificial intelligence coding assistants, Kodi makes use of large language models or LLMs under the hood. But where Kodi differentiates from other assistants is his ability to fetch context from your broader code base and source graphs code graph. This is a quick video as how to install Kodi on VS Code Editor. On your screen, you can see that this is a link from the source graph zone website and I will be putting the link in the video's description. But in order to install Kodi on VS Code, you just need to follow these steps. First, you need to sign into source graph. I already have signed in and this is a source graph website and it is currently free. You can sign it up. So once that's done, you need to join the Kodi Discord. And I already have signed up to Discord and joined their channel. And as you can see, this is a Kodi's Discord. And in this Discord, Discord, you need to request the access to Kodi should be enabled. So as you can see, I have just put in here my name in the Discord and I have requested them that please enable Kodi for my username. This and this is a username to which I signed up to source graphs. Once that's done, you need to create a source graph access token. So go back to secure uh, source graph website and then in your profile in, in your profile settings, search for on the left hand side access tokens, click on it and then generate new token. I already have a token for Kodi, which I created an hour ago and I haven't used it yet. But if you don't have it, you can simply click on generate new token and you need to save it somewhere because it is only displayed once. But if somehow you have lost it, you can always generate a new token. Okay, so that is the step. And after you have done all three and your request from the Discord channel is approved, then install the Kodi VS Code extension. In order to do that, you need to go to VS Code. And in the VS Code, you can click on the extensions here, then search for source graph Kodi, and then click on install. Once you will click on install, you will get a screen which I have on right hand side. In this, it is telling me that okay, this source graph Kodi has been installed here and this extension is enabled globally. Once that's done, you need to click on extension settings and then in the uh, extension settings, once your Discord um, request has been approved, then you'll be connected to the source graph instance and then this should be enabled. So this is the next step which you need to do. Now, once that's done, you are pretty much good to go. Once that access approved, the only thing you need to do is to come back here, go into the settings, and in the server endpoint, mention this server endpoint sourcegraph.com. And also, once you click on Kodi's icon on the left hand side, it will open the chat box here. Mine is not enabled because it's not approved yet. Otherwise, you will get an text box here where you can enable the Kodi by putting your access token, which you received from the um, from this website. So, and this is the settings options in the VS Code. So once that's done, uh, you can always go in, click on the Kodi icon and it will open the chat box for you. And in that chat box, you can ask it to analyze your code and suggest you um, the new code chunk or any improvement or it can even write the whole code for you. I hope this was useful. In the next videos, I'll be, once my access is approved, I'll be playing more with Kodi. Uh, more than likely through the Python code and then I will be posting more videos around it. I hope you found it useful. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.